hi guys welcome back again to another flutter tutorial and in this session we'll be dealing with the creation of a scratch card app in flutter okay and this scratch card app would be resembling more likely to be the scratch card what we'll be getting in a gp app and hope you would be better understanding after seeing the end result and here is what the end result what we'll be developing as a result of this video tutorial and here I have just developed this app by making use of two kinds of dependencies. One is the scratch dependency. Uh, as the name suggests, the scratch dependency is used for having this scratching animations over any Flutter widgets. And the next dependency, what I have made use of, is the confetti dependency. Having this confetti animations. So, whenever a threshold is reached, for example, in our app, I have said that threshold value something approximately 70 to 75 percent. So, whenever 70 to 75 percent of the uh, card is being scratched completely, then this quantity animation gets triggered automatically. Okay, and this is just a brief view of how the app is being built. So, now we'll just jump into the coding part to get to know about how to develop this app from scratch. As said before, we need to have these two kinds of dependencies. One is the scratcher and another is the scomity. Just check out for the latest version. Okay. And after that, in the main.dot file, I will be just having a navigation to the home page. And here is what we will be developing the entire app. Okay. Now, first of all, let us just create a controller for confetti. And this for having this confetti animation, the first and foremost thing is to have a controller just to have a control over the confetti animations. And this controller will be made use to trigger the confetti animations wherever you need. And let's just create that one first controller, okay and after creating the controller the next thing what you need to do is to initialize that controller and let me do that as well i need to initialize it in the init state okay inside okay inside this init state let me just initialize that controller is the confetti and the parameter what it would be taking is the duration and let me provide the duration value in terms of seconds and give it as 2 for now okay now we have just initialized the controller for the confetti and now let's just start in the build widget inside this build widget let me set the background color colors dot blue gray would be good and let us just jump in the body and i want that widgets to be placed in the center so let me wrap the entire widget and say the center widget okay and the first widget what we will be having is the scratcher widget and this scratcher widget would be taking few parameters First is the brush size and as the name says it is just the thickness of the dragging part draggable area and next is the threshold and as said in the previous part this threshold is the end result or the maximum value up to which the card is being scratched once the threshold is reached we can just trigger any event or whatever and just for that we'll be using this threshold parameter followed by the colors can provide wait one sec let me give the color as red followed by image an image what you need to have in the front part that is the wrapper image let me have it as the asset image and let me provide the path 
which is major png and let me fit that using the box fit method dot fit dot fill okay format this and what is this color on the image is that you can either have just you can either wrap that behind widget using a color fixed color value or using an image you can use any one of that now i will be using the image okay so let me just get rid of that color and after that you can keep track of the on change value you can just print it for getting to know what is the actual part is being scratched let me provide it as value okay and if you want to trigger any animations or any event based on the threshold then you can write that inside this threshold on threshold event and here is what will be triggering the config animations this controller is what we have initialized in the before part okay this confetti will be triggered when the threshold is being reached okay as of now we haven't developed the confetti widget just we will be proceeding in a sequential manner okay whenever the threshold is reached we will be triggering that event and with this we just end creating the outer that is the wrapper image whatever now let's just have a child that is the inner image or the inner widget water for that scratcher widget which is a container for now and let me specify the height for the container height and width let me provide it as 300 pixels and colors as colors dot white followed by the child the inner container itself will be having a child which would be the column widget i want the to be aligned in a column wise manner and let me set the main axis alignment as face evenly and the cross axis alignment as cross axis alignment dot center okay followed by the children widget what it will be taking is one is the image that is the asset image let me provide the path images slash i think it's images new image that is the inner image what is being hidden inside this outer image okay and for this image also we can have the fit parameter which is again the box fit dot this time it's contain and with for that image let me specify as 150 and the height let me also specify it as 150 so that would be of even size of height and width followed by the image the next is what again take the column widget let me provide it and this column will be taking a children widget and inside this children widget is what will be writing the developing the confetti widget okay let me just develop that which is confetti widget followed by first it will be asking for the confetti controller let me provide the controller what we have developed at the beginning of this okay and this confetti controller is a mandatory one followed by the blast direction last directionality I think 
this blacks directionality will be taking blacks directionality as let me give us explode if you give us explode then it would be just blasting in all the directions just like an explode or if you want that animation to be cornered or focused in any particular direction say top down or left or right you can provide it as directional okay for now let me give us explosive and the next parameter what the config widget would be taking is the particle drag is just simple parameters and again the emission frequency is let me provide it as i'm not sure of what this actually does let me provide the generic values and this number of particles the number of papers that quantity what you need to have let me have 100 particles and the gravity let me set it as 0.05 so this gravity parameter is used for the time total time it needs to it takes to settle down the entire particles will be settling down so that for that you will be using making use of this gravity parameter and if you want that to be loop you can set it as true i just don't want so let me give it as false and then a color how much colors you need you can specify over here and what are those also you can just specify let me give it as green first one is green similarly i just want Two to three colors. I will give it as four. Just green, followed by red, yellow, and let me have blue at last. Blue would be good. Okay. Now we have just completed creating the confetti widget, and next is the text that is whatever text you need to be hidden you want to be hidden inside this structure you can provide it here let me just give it as one just split that wordings into two parts first is the u1 part syllable and i will be giving style for the text using the text style which is some basic styling which is the font weight as 400 all the way you can specify the font size so that it will be looking more appropriate to the background and is something more likely to be the gp stretch code app okay and similarly you can just copy paste this text because the same is going to get repeated just change in the text value alone you can provide better like next time or you have just one one lakh whatever let me give it as one lakh okay and let me just have all the styling to be same and that's it thing we have just completed building up the entire screen Okay, and wait for the output. Okay, so this is this is the output that is the outer wrapper for this widget, and inside this wrapper is what we have made use of this. What else? this is what we'll be having these children's okay so these children's are being hidden by this image okay you can either provide the outer uh, part as an image or color as i said before for our app i will be providing as an image okay and as of now i am running the browser the output you can't be able to just get as expected if you run in any physical device or any emulator you will be able to get the output as shown in the previous part okay and that's it guys
thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye